All right, so uh, this is my Google Classroom. And as you can see, I have uh, two links for the kids to click on. One is the Google Form that has their uh, spelling test on it. And this one is the audio of the spelling test that I recorded um, earlier. And basically, I just do the same thing that you would do during a spelling test. I said the word, and I uh, repeated it. I said a sentence, paused, did the next word. And so we just kept working on that way. Uh, this is what the spelling test looks like. That's what the kids see. This is what I see when I'm making the spelling test. And notice that right there I have automatically collect um, respondents district username. So I have that checked. When you want Flubaroo to email the results to your kids, this has to be checked so that there's an email address that it can um, email their stuff to. So the kids take this and they fill it all out and they click submit and I also take it. So I go through and I actually fill out the same form that the kids do um, because when you are, as you'll see in a minute, when you start Flubaroo, it'll ask you which response is the correct response. So in other words, you're telling it what the answer key is. And so I'm typing in my very last word, which is contest, um, continue, I just for fun put a funny little picture up there that the kids can see. It's just for fun. You don't have to do this. And then click Submit. So once that has been done, then I can go look at my responses. There's a couple of ways you can get there. Uh, if you go back to the screen where you're making um, your Google Form, you're making your test, if you click on View Responses right up here at the top, then it will open a tab that looks like this. That is your spreadsheet. This is where you need to be to run Flubaroo. You have to be on the spreadsheet. So I'm gonna walk you through it step by step, real time. This is how it's going. No pauses, no nothing. This is real time. I'm gonna come up here and I'm gonna click add-ons and I'm gonna click Flubaroo. The first time you do this, you'll have to go here to where it says get add-ons and you'll have to search Flubaroo and add it. But it's really simple. It's only a couple of clicks. Um, I think you have to make sure you click and accept so that Flubaroo can have access to your Google Drive. It's no big deal. So once you've got it, I click Flubaroo, enable Flubaroo on this sheet, click. It does its thing. Hopefully we'll have good internet. Uh, it says it has been enabled. I click OK. Come back to add-ons. Flubaroo again. Grade assignment. So it walks you through, it's very simple. It walks you through, it asks you questions. Um, is this how you want it to score? It's gonna score each word as one point. It knows which one is the username, so it knows not to score that one. I click continue. Now it wants to know which is the answer key. And so it's really simple, walks you all the way through. I was the last one that did it, so I know I'm all the way down here at the bottom. I click me and I click continue, and it is grading my assignment. Flubaroo is like the best thing ever. Oh my goodness gracious. And as you can see, it adds a separate tab to my spreadsheet. Um, it just gives me all this stuff, and all I do is just click view grades. And they're right there, so Flubaroo is way cool. It's make it a little bit bigger. Um, I love Flubaroo for several reasons. For one thing, it grades my work for me. If it's something that has one right answer, it's awesome, it's so cool. Um, but as equally as cool, and you'll see in a minute, is that it emails the grades to the kids, and they love it. Their interest and their motivation really goes up because they get that email that shows them with bright green, or sometimes bright red, um, what they got correct and what their score is. The kids love it. Quick, quick, quick couple of things that you can do though. This column that has their score, that has their percentage, if you hover up here next to it and you see the little tiny arrow, you get a drop down menu and you can sort it. I sort it A to Z and basically what it does is it sorts my lowest scores right up here at the top. Well here's my intervention group right here. So these are the kids that I know need some work on whatever the content is of my quiz. It's super simple, it gives it to me all in one chunk, boom, right there, awesome. Okay, next step, come back up here to add-on, Flubaroo again, email grades. 
and I think it asks, oh, it, it knows. It automatically knows which column to go to. Um, I include the answer key. This is a spelling test, so I do want them to see what the correct answer is. Sometimes I wouldn't include the answer key, especially if it was something that I wanted the kids to retake, maybe a math quiz that they didn't do so hot on and I think they could do better then I will make sure to unclick that so that they don't get the answer. So they actually have to work for that again. Uh, but this time, because it's spelling, I want them to see the correct spelling. And then I can send them a message. Here, uh, here is your score on today's spelling test. And click continue. And it just does its thing. It's so cool. Oh my gosh, you have to go out and try Fluberoo. Um, my email, my Twitter, everything is on the contact. And that tells me how many grades were me emailed successfully. Uh, if you have any questions, go to my contact page, email me, Twitter me, whatever. I'll be happy to help.